Alright my friends, as you can see the leaves are turning and I'm out here finding some stuff. Boy that's really great like lavender looking material right there. But on this high ground, this high ground there's a series of uh, ridges and hills that run all the way down into the Wahanding River Valley. There's a creek at the base of this. All along the slope for miles there's ancient quarries all the way down through there for miles miles of it they were sourcing this material right here so here's just a few pieces i haven't you know, i have not made it i'm looking behind my shoulder maybe 40 yards into here and already starting to get what i'm looking for so all right well i'll be back with you when i find something prospects look good well, it looks like the first find of the day is a broken blade yeah i'd be like the back end of it Yep, snapped in half. So there's something there. It's been used. Yeah, it's kind of a little uniface tool. Something in a preform. To me, that's looking like a Jack's Reef. Mm-hmm. Paper thin. It's pretty thin. A little bit of that base missing. But if I had to bet my money on it, that's a Jack's Reef. And that's kind of odd because I've never even found a Jack's Reef in this field before. But, you know, you can't deny what you're looking at. Pretty sure that's Jack's Reef. But then again, you know, you can see there's a resharpening there. Hmm. On a pentagonal site, so I'm a little, I'm, you know, I'm not 100% sure on that. So there you go. There's another point. But let's just go ahead and see what this is. Now, the current owner, it's the same guy that owns the dump I've been digging. And all the farmland around that dump is so awesome. It's so awesome. But let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Look at that. There's the usage right there. It, I've seen better. I've seen better. That's barely been touched upon. So, <laughs> the dilemma, right? Do I take this stone or not? I'm going to not take it. Yeah, I come into contact with lots of good hammer stones. That's not really a great one. All right, check that out, everybody. This is a tool. Made out of some upper mercer. And that's one for the pocket. Yeah, it gets good. When you get closer to the creek here, it gets exceptionally good. Yeah, yeah, just as soon as you get into there, it's right into the creek. This is a scraper. Get it to focus. Yeah. You see that? Nice. Pretty decent. It's got a big high medial ridge to it. They were working hard with this one. They could really crank on a hide. Or woodwork or whatever they choose to do. I'm going to go hit this little lump right here. And then I'm going to circle around and try to work this. Kind of goes to a little low spot right there. And when the river, or not the river, but when the creek gets high, it'll jump its banks. I'm not interested in that. There's a lot of silt down in there. You can't discount it, but it's this embankment right here. This high rise above the creek is I'm interested in. I do believe it's tipped, though. Oh, yeah, it's tipped. But it's a point. All right, we're going to stay on them. Should get a few today. Ooh, that might be reworked, everyone. Let's hold off on a judgment on this. Yeah, that might be reworked. That's very interesting. 
All right, I'll be back when I find some more things. Well, there's a really high quality material. Yeah, core, really translucent stuff too. Pretty nice. I'm kind of up on this little knoll and flipping, doing some rock flipping. Well, that hurt. That's a very nice tip to, I think, a knife form. I wouldn't think that's a projectile point. It's not made so fine. But that's a pretty decent, like, preform right there. I think that's heat treated. If I'm not mistaken, I'll take that. And that's a good spot up in here. All kinds of material to look around through. See what I'm saying? It's pretty loaded. You don't have to move around much. It's just good stuff all over the ground. Lots of interesting things. Looks like a strap. Yep. Boy, I've seen some good buck tracks, everybody. There's a big one running this. Black walnut. Just getting in some really great material. But I just wanted to show you. Right here. I've walked all this years ago. Yep. Yep. This is a great area, everybody. This is fantastic. I turned around, walked 10 yards from the last little bit of clips I've cut there, showing the creek, and I get my feelings really hurt. That's a piece of a really nice blade. It's pretty thin. Yeah. Years ago, I found a really nice, uh, like, blue, white, paper thin blade that was large. Yeah, I still got it in the collection. This place is good. I just got to keep hunting. Okay. This is a big piece of old campfire rock. This is what they used to line the campfire years ago. Sitting right next to piece to uh, right next to a piece of upper mercer there. And some young buck tracks. I should have filmed that one. There's a there's there was one over there that I saw underneath a honey locust tree and it was feeding on that stuff. Man, it is massive. Bigger than my hand. And I got this loud truck running down the road. But I, I'm now I'm 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 relieved that I did leave that other hammer stone. I've already touched this. I got a disco doll out of here years ago. Look at this hammer stone. That's that's better than the other one, so I will take that. That's pretty cool. And it's like uh you can see right there from them holding on to it, it's very smooth in that recessed spot right here where they're hanging on to it. It's beat up though, but that is more interesting, isn't it? Pretty cool. Well, my friends, as you can see, I've covered quite a distance. And this spot here, I mean, it's, it's looking pretty good. And quite a bit of campfire rock. Quite a bit of it. Check it out. A little blade, a little knife, probably a little handheld cutting blade. But that's pretty good. I've been getting some other stuff. Found another really nice back end of a knife form that was broken. Yeah, really finely made, but this ain't too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad there. I love the color. It's white and got blue like veins in it. It's a lancet. They definitely use this. I can see it. It's a field find. Uniface lancet blade, everybody. All right, the utility knife of the ancient world. Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun. I just, I love this. I love doing this. This is the, my most favorite thing in the world to do. You know, as far as a hobby or a pastime. Uh, I like looking for bottles and things, and I was on a good run. I find some really nice bottles and you know, uh, very collectible and interesting and valuable bottles and antiques. But everyone, <laughs> I, I don't want to knock it. I don't want to say the wrong thing, but it to this, this is thousands of years old, custom made by an ancient man. Those bottles.
bottles, even though even though that like well they're hand blown, they're made in a mold, it's still mass production. Yeah, yeah, they're nice. It's all that stuff's nice to find, but it pales in comparison with an ancient Native American artifact. Well, the wind's really picking up, but it has warmed up. And it started to sprinkle. Looks like it quit. I've got something real interesting right here. I don't get my hopes up too much because, well, I've done it enough to where I know a lot of times the majority of this stuff is broken. But let's see what we have. Well, it's feeling pretty good. Oh my lord. Month maker. That's a big sandy and it's mostly there. That's a that's like a nine to ten thousand year old point. Look at that here, buddy. Holy moly. Oh, I gotta take a deep breath. I have been at it for quite some time here, but that's exactly the kind of thing I'm looking for, everyone. Oh my lord, yes. It's highly ground. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh yes. A gift from God. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, I have to admit I was praying just to find some one nice one. I haven't been finding much, everybody. I, at the ground, you know, you can see the ground's gotten a little wet, right? But this is recent, you know. It's not. It's not weathered as well as I as I hoped, but. Huh. Oh man, to go through such a drought like I have. I just, I can't believe it. But I am so happy. Have you seen me? I'm smiling like a possum. Um, oh, sorry there. I'm, I'm paying attention to the point more than filming now. I'm blown away. Oh, that's a good one. I don't know. You know, if that ain't, I, th I think that's what that is. Like a sandy type. Something close to that, right? Early archaic. <sighs> Concave base. Wow. Wow. I mean, it's got a little nick in the side of the blade right there, you know. But man, for free, for free. Just a little effort, everyone. A little time. I I love doing this stuff. I mean, it's it's my passion. Yeah. Oh, you should be out deer hunting. Yeah, I got all kinds of time to deer hunt. I can hunt whenever I want, which I love to deer hunt. But I, this is this is the ultimate for me, everybody. Holy moly, that's a good point. Yes. All right, that'll work. Oh, I've been picking them up, everybody. I'll have a lot to show at the end of this. I haven't shown half of it. That's pretty good right there. Mm hmm that's worked pretty nice this area that I'm at right now <clears throat> I don't know um, probably around 15 18 years ago I found uh, a lot of pentagonal points in this uh, area in this general area here um, all right now that the hunt is done I can show some of this stuff check that out See how that's dimpled in? And there's micro scratches that run dead center of that. You know, parallel with the cut. That's pretty cool. Lots of broken blades. This is some heat treated material. And you can see the evidence of the fire popping on that piece. And some lancets here to the left. And then these three like little choppers are Flint seltzer adds. This one's exceptional. That's exceptional. 
Got a scraper there, a high medial ridge, and some other nice tools. Those are nice. I think those are really nice. Um, this is like a, this right here is like a, a shaft scraper or a spoke shave is a big one. Some core material, maybe a preform there. Uh, a couple of end scrapers, and this little handheld blade. That's a real nice point, everybody. Real nice. Contracted base, big sandy. 10,000 to 8,000 before present. All three of these are broken up. But that is so nice, everyone. Yeah. Early archaic to transitional paleo. And what was awesome about it was, is see this piece of mica? I found that real close. I don't think there's any sources of mica in Ohio. And I found it there on that site with this point. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a month maker, everybody. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I was really happy to share this with you. If you like this sort of stuff here, well, like and subscribe. I'm doing it all the time. So thanks for watching. And we'll be seeing you.